hey folks it's joy and i just getting on today because the news just broke that the ap is officially deciding to make all 2020 ap tests online only and 45 minutes only now that's down from what is typically a three hour test for the ap tests that have existed in previous years of course we're in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic so most of the learning and testing has gone online if not just like the hard copy packets and again the ap tests just wanted to bring this news to folks so that you know that all ap tests and that includes like mostly juniors and seniors in any all the subjects from history the math science the language arts and english all the electives all that testing is gonna be online this year in the may time frame 45 minutes only and i'm reading here the news that tests are going to be 45 minutes only this spring compared to the three hour in-person tests that usually happen usually tests are done mostly at high schools but sometimes at testing centers I'm reading here also that the ib exams are canceled completely so worldwide there will be no 2020 ip ib exams international baccalaureate which will impact lots of students it's completely unfortunate but the ap tests are going to stay online reading here that the ap folks at college board conducted a survey of 18,000 ap enrollees so students who are currently in there and it found that 91 percent of students still wanted the test to happen um last year there were 5,098,815 tests taken but i'm assuming that the amount of tests taken this year will be way down because even though it's online the test will be online and that's more accessible for some people for a lot of folks who don't have internet access at home who perhaps aren't easily able to get to a school location or a testing location that is outside of their normal high school this could really be prohibitive for them to have to have even a 45 minute long online test so while this is a really good news for most of the students in ap classes who plan on taking ap tests this year because of course that AP testing if you get a high enough score usually four or five that can translate to college credits for some students who face extraordinary socioeconomic indicators, they might not be able to necessarily take these tests online. This news release also said that all the questions on the shortened 45 minute AP test will be free response, so no multiple choice whatsoever. AP folks think that this is a means of really to mitigate and counter cheating because it's harder to really do the analysis and the free thinking of an essay response and it's relatively easy to like look up multiple cho choice answers also says that the 45 minute online exams will only cover the first seven months of the ap courses and i know that some folks i've heard teachers say that they sometimes teach the course out of order because the end part of the course is more relevant and more important than the beginning of the course so it might actually be bad for some students that in some cases the ap courses are taught out of order um, because again the ap is only testing for the first seven months not the whole thing that 45 minutes will only cover the first 45 minutes excuse me the 45 minute test will only cover the first seven months of the class so 45 minutes only the first seven months covered all online free response essay only no multiple choice and then as a side note the ib has canceled all their tests so that's the update don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to continue to get up-to-date college admissions news i'll stay keep delivering all the latest information on ap testing ib testing how college admissions is changing in the face of this pandemic and what will be different Appreciate you tuning in and I will talk to you next time. Bye.